everyone, this is Anna from Lexime Journals. Thank you so much for joining me today. I, uh, I uh, hope everybody's well. Um, this is a new journal that I've made and it is, um, I've, uh, it's a theme, the th it's themed around the moon. So it is a lunar journal, but I've named it Urania because it features uh, one of the muses, the news, the patron muse of astronomy on the cover and that is Urania. And it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, image here. And I'll bring it a bit closer for you to see her in all her beauty and wonder. And uh, there's so much detail on the cover, it'll take a long time just to study it properly. And um, this is the spine, lots of gold, as you can see here, and the back is completely plain. So it looks like a very old book, and like a book that's been through a bit. And uh, there you can see it from the top and on the side, so a few things coming out there. So. Okay, so she is filled with images and uh, I have tried to add as many as possible to make her really rich as, as you know, richly, richly designed, let's say, inside to give all the details of, um, of, of images that have come through the, the ages, through the different centuries. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so I have used here as, as a, um, an end paper, um, a beautiful paper that has uh, all these um, different astronomical images and uh, also a lot of alchemical images. It's just, it's just beautiful and it has a little bit of gold when you, when you see it through the light. There's got a bit of gold printed on it which makes it even even better and I have also added this volvele and it is um, it is it's, it's three-dimensional it's um, it, it was flat uh, as an image in the book but they used that's how the volvelles worked they they used to uh, in the old books in the medieval books they used to have them uh, moving around so that's exactly what I did so I, what I what I really did was I printed this image three times, same size, and then I I cut out the bits that would have to go around. So it's quite simple as an idea, but it creates this, um, this, uh, um, you know, this uh, three-dimensional impression. And one can move it around. And of course, we've got the horoscope here because we know astronomy and astrology were blending in together a lot more in the past, so. So yeah, this is a bit. I've I've added a few a few a bit of ephemera. This is an alchemical image of the moon and the the moon and the planets and the sun, and the effects that it has on the earth. And so much based on on the actual green, the um, beauty of the green of the earth and, and the animals. And you can see here the 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 ones that are really featuring are the dolphins and and um, the whales and the animals are here and the trees the very the important things and of course the birds important things in our world so I thought I'd use this as as especially as at the moment environment is so important for all of us um, you know it's nice to have this in in, in a journal so this is um this is a uh, this is an astronomy image a diagram of the earth and other planets and it is an engraving from 1846 here's a side pocket and then there's a piece of ephemera here which i actually put outside the pocket and of course where it belongs is probably inside but i i just thought i'd leave it here so one can one can admire it and there's this also um this is is called life and another drawing painting and uh, there's this uh, this ballerina dancing on the earth and the sun and the moon and all all around and um, this is also a, a lovely piece of ephemera and um, and there's another one that i've added onto a pocket here which is from Sudbury. and um, there's another one and this this i've attached onto the page as a piece of decoration and there's another here a piece of ephemera and this is dealer map of the moon 
and it's uh, from the 1870, 1870. So how interesting with all the details here. So there's, um, there's more pieces of ephemera here and another one. And this is called the New Ideal Atlas, and that was printed in 1901. Oh, sorry, 1909. It's an antique celestial astronomical chart of the phases of the moon, theory of seasons, and the solar system. So that's that's got so much detail again. Of course, you need you need to go very close or very far to be able to read what it says, but it is it is uh, amazing. And this is uh, the celestial planisphere. This is what all the information I've got. But of course, if you're interested in finding these images, you just put those details I've given you in, in, in on Google and you'll find them in different parts and, and different places. There's another um, image. This, this is something I really love as well. And I've seen it before. And I added that onto this page. And this one is the phases of the moon. Again, in another chart and some washi. There's some more ephemera attached. This is the solar system. Oh, this is a pocket. Yeah, this is a pocket and then a piece of material that looks very much like the moon and, and the planet. So I thought, oh, I'll add that. This is the solar system. And um, let's see, it's um, a celestial map. That's very, uh, I think it is connected, if I'm not mistaken, to this one. Um, this is a, called the Transparent Solar System, and it's a re representation of the solar system, the planets, and their orbits. And let's look at this. This is uh, the phases of the of the moon again. So, so there you are. You see, some of this paper has got so much detail here of some beautiful, uh, again, drawings and, and diagrams. This is the moon, our moon, and some more um, washi here, and some imagery here. Ah, there I have created a little, like a little thing that opens up. And it says there's something haunting in the light of the moon. It has all the dis dispassionateness of a disembodied soul and something of its inconceivable mystery by Joseph um, Joseph Conrad and I, I really like this uh, piece this quote now this is a, a lunar map a map and it's a, a medieval and it, it's just one of my favorite pieces in this journal um, and yeah just and it has printed beautifully side pocket, another side pocket, and some uh, piece of ephemera here, and another alchemical image. See he's holding an astrolab. And uh, some old ledger here. This is a, it's a, let's see, it's a, ta uh, well, it says a table, it's a table of cosmography. Again, a lot of detail here. The colors, it's just printed amazingly well. There's a side pocket. And some more washi. And this is a Copernicus. A painting of Copernicus with his charts here as well. And this is a lovely vintage image. Ah, now this is the creation of the sun and moon, and that's a fresco found in the Vatican. Side pocket. And there's a side pocket here. I've just added this and a number plate, and it says it's number twelve. And um, I just thought of it as the twelve, the twelve uh, months of the year. <laughs> To have some significance uh, of that. This is a cel celestial hemisphere. The, I, some of them don't have much more detail but again you can find them if you like. Side pocket. There's another medieval image here. 
and I attached that onto this and this has got the faces of the moon as well. And here is a, an assemblage of a medieval, um, a medieval uh, table of the lunar, a perpetual lunar table I think this is. And uh, some more uh, images, uh, chemical images. I love this one as well. So this painting is by Edward Robert Hughes and it uh, was painted between 1851-1914 and it's called The Weary Moon. And this is, this is very much fun by Charles Doyle and that's a dance around the moon and it was made between 1827 and 1892. Side pocket here. Some more paper that looks very textured here. There's an alchemical washi. And this one is, um, this one's very interesting. Five diagrams of the surface of the moon during its phases by uh, Galileo Galilei. So that's really special. And here's a side pocket. And this is a bit of uh, Da Vinci, who belongs rightfully as well in this <laughs> this journal. This is a little file, a little. This is a little envelope, a little folder. And this is sorry. Here's another piece of ephemera and um, this one is by Ang Salvor and it's 1850. So I, I love that one. Some more here, the wa some washi, alchemical washi. Side pocket. And of course the papers come out really well here. This is, uh, it was it was made in 1660 and it's the, the world, the world as well as it was known. And of course again here is the, are uh, the different signs of the uh, horoscope. This is thicker and it's uh, the theory of the eclipse. Um, this one, a beautiful uh, image, this one is by Kay Nielsen, east of, from the East of the Sun and West of the Moon story. And this is the six, brother, the six brothers riding out to the woods. The six, and this, this, is, this is just amazing. And I added that because of obviously the title, um, but I thought a little bit of uh, a few pieces of art would blend in nicely in a journal like this. This is the Sphere of the World by Orange Fine, 1549. Very, very old image. And just shown a little bit of color here. A little band. Awesome. Um, and this is a more, more, um, more, more uh, ephemera pieces here from um, alchemical images used. And this is a side pocket here, and this, the uh, lithograph, the eclipse of the moon, printed in 1908. And it says it's an antique celestial chart of phases of the moon in the solar system. Some more here. Um, alchemical medieval designs. Um, medieval ephemera, sorry. Side pockets, there's a strong one here. This is um, Holman and Doppelmayr, Map of the Moon, 1707. Stunning. <laughs> and there are the phases here as well. Very much studied the moon and very much loved um, in the past as well. Because it is the constant companion, isn't it? Our constant companion. And we never really stop admiring it and looking up and and in wonder um even if it's not with a telescope and we're just with our eyes you know it's just our companion 
um, in clear um, clear evenings or it has been um, so this is a lithograph of the planetary system uh, from 1898 And this is a telescopic view of the moon, as it says, and that's that was in, from 1886. And I've put it in here, so it's transparent paper. You can still one can still see it, but uh, also add uh, bits and pieces of information if one wants. There's some more of this interesting washer here. Uh, this is a. It, it's a uh, by Copernicus, and it does. In fact, I think that's him. <laughs> and it's um, it says um, Solarius Harmonia Macrocosmica Planisferium. So it's all the planets around the Earth. There's the Earth and the Moon, and uh, and the, of course around here are the signs of the zodiac. And this is a an, an, um, an um, uh, alchemical image of the moon and the sun. And it says, a moon above a queen dressed in blue and a sun above a king. And there, this is a, the celestial sphere um, showing the birth of Hesiod. pocket and this is uh, the again it's a it's a Swedish a Swedish painting dancing fairies um, and it's by August Malmström and it's uh, from he it was painted between 1829 and 1901 these are his dates and I don't know exactly when it doesn't say but that's the time so this is an image again of the phases of the moon This is the moon seen through a telescope, golden, and this one is Planisferium Ptolemaicum. Some Florentine paper, and this is the sun, and there's another little piece of ephemera, and the end papers. So this is the journal. It will be up on Etsy um, tomorrow, Sunday, uh, any time after. I, I'm going to make it nine o'clock in the evening uh, because I ha some people have asked me to list them a little bit later. And uh, yes, so so I um, am also creating a smaller version of this, and I was hoping to have it finished this weekend, but it. It's not very likely so I will add it onto the um, onto Etsy next week sometime but I will let you know I might show it to you on a video it'll be a smaller one and it'll be slightly different because as it is going to be small it's this is an A5 and it's very very thick as well but that one will be a little one like a pocket one <laughs> not, not as little as that but you know it will be an a, a B6 I think or something like that so anyway I'll let you know when that happens um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you love this journal I loved making this journal and um, it was really I had I wanted to, to do something like this for a long time and it is it is um, a bit of a like a labor of love well it is a labor of love and a collection of images that I've done a lot of research uh, on for uh, a while because it's not really easy to collect so many images and to find them and so I've been working uh, a while for a while to do this and it's very special to me it's got a lot of me in this. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you for watching and I, I, I don't want to make these videos too long but I thought that some of you would like to know where the sources of these images came from and let me know if you like this journal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye and take care.